I like K-pop. So recently I've been working on and making a data pack that allows players to have a vending machine in their Minecraft world. Of course this took a lot of time and I wanted to present it in style. So I made this two minute skit that started at the beginning of the video. I'm not sure if I'm going to do skits like this in the future. I want you guys to look at the top right corner of this video and you will see a poll where you can vote and tell me if you want videos that just go straight to the point or make them sweet and funny. Now if you want a vending machine in your Minecraft world, what you're going to want to do is go to the description of this video and click a link that says download data pack here. If you're not sure how to download data packs, that's all right. If you look at the top right corner of this video again, there will be another card that will tell you how to install a data pack. Otherwise, it's pretty simple. You just drag and drop it into your Minecraft world data packs folder. Once it is installed, you might think that nothing's changed, but don't worry, something has. Just find a Minecraft villager and throw a diamond at him. That's right. He just turned himself into a spawn egg. It's pretty funky, but it, it works, all right? I couldn't think of any other way to make vending machines rather than throwing a diamond at a villager. But you're welcome. I added a cute little sound effect that plays when, when you put them in their spawn eggs. And it's funny. Once you uh, have the spawn egg that you picked up from the villager, just place it on the ground in anywhere you want. And unfortunately, it can only face one direction. But there it is. Doesn't it look pretty? It's got all the slots there and it's got a little red thing at the bottom. I don't, I don't, I couldn't think of anything else. The bottom looks so empty. I just, I had to put something there. All right, guys, I didn't know what to do. Now I know what you're thinking. Now this vending machine looks pretty and all, just what do you do with it? Well, that's easy. You just right click on it and you will see uh, somewhat of a villager shop. It'll say vending machine at the top so you know you're, you're shopping in a vending machine. This ain't no villager. It's a vending machine. What are you talking about? And then just grab yourself a stack of gold and pick out your items that you want. Like you can get honey, you can get steaks, or even a saddle. Like you can only find those inside of dungeons and villagers, all right? This this is perfect. You can finally get one in the game. Do you understand what I mean? Now, if you don't like where the vending machine is placed or you just want to move it, take a pickaxe or just your hand and break one of the two iron blocks that are there and you will see a spawn egg appear. Uh, and then you can just place your vending machine wherever. Now I bet you're wondering, but Snake, how did you make this vending machine? Well, that's very simple. So the data pack, it's always detecting to see if, uh, if the spawn egg has been placed. And then once it detects that the spawn egg has been placed, it will summon two blocks and then a ton of armor stand, literally just holding in their hands items up to the uh, iron block. So it looks like you're getting the whole vending machine, but really it's just, it's just invisible armor stands doing what they're good at. Then it will spawn in an invisible villain with the custom shop that I made myself. I mean, you might look at some of these prices. Some of them might be too high. Some of them might be too low. All right, I made this thing really quick, all right? I didn't want to spend all day making sure it's balanced, all right? So what you get is what you get.
But yeah, that's about it. If you liked this video, please leave a like. Consider subscribing. Uh, I have plenty of more Minecraft videos coming up. And yeah, that's about it. Have a good day, guys. I'll see you next time.